Hey out there, I'm here to talk to you today about a new project that we've got going on. It's called RTS Classroom. And the reason we started this uh, classroom project is because we get a lot of requests for information. Um, people want to know why I program the way that I do. Um, and really that requires a lot of in-depth uh, in depth answers and a lot of really thorough commentary. Um, and usually the people that are asking for stuff like this are in a bit of a coaching situation. And it's not really a good fit for a coaching situation. There's usually not enough time or ability to get in depth into the answers the way that we need to. So part of what we're going to cover uh, with RTS Classroom is the answers to all of those questions. We want to provide reasonings for why things are programmed the way they are and just basically go into a lot more depth on uh, on different topics that uh, that we can't really get as in-depth on in things like seminars or, or even DVDs and articles. Um, so we really want to get into the, the programming stuff and the coaching stuff, but we want to get into a bunch of other stuff too. Um, there's going to be a, a ton of topics, so I'm going to put some links in the description box uh, that will take you to the RTS calendar so you can check on availability and, and topic lists and things like that. So there, there's that. Uh, the real reason I'm here today um, is not so much to talk about RTS Classroom, but to give, uh, give some people that are enrolled uh, some basic information uh, that they'll need to attend some of these classes. So this is going to be a quick outline on how the live classroom portion is going to work. About 24 to 48 hours before the class starts, you're going to get an invitation email. Uh, that'll be from me, and it'll basically just invite you to, uh, to attend one of the live classes. Follow the link in the email, and it'll take you to a registration page uh, for the GoToWebinar software here. Uh, it's obviously very simple. You type in your name, and you hit the register button here. So after that, you're going to get a confirmation email, and it's going to look like this. You're going to want to keep this confirmation email uh, because it's got a link that you're going to need to follow. So uh, you'll do the registration step about one or two days before the actual go live event. About 10 minutes before the webinar starts, you'll just come to this email, you'll click the link, and it will take you uh, to automatically start all the uh, all the software that you're going to need to attend this class. So yes, you're going to launch the application, and it will download what you need to download, and it will automatically start. So you can see that now the GoToWebinar software has started. Welcome to GoToWebinar. Webinars made easy. So Welcome it... to the webinar. Please stand by. <laughs> the webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. So you can tell that the software is going to talk to you just a little bit. Uh, it's going to tell you to that you're actually uh, logged in and everything's good. Uh, we're about to start, but just hold on for a minute. That's uh, that's what it's going to do, and it will beep occasionally. Uh, that's to let you know that you are still connected. It didn't drop the call on you or anything like that. So you'll just kind of sit here and hang out until the webinar starts. And once it starts, you'll get this indi indication. All attendees are in listen only mode. So you're in listen only mode, which means that you won't be able, the organizer won't be able to hear you, uh, but you will be able to hear the organizer, me. So I just want to kind of go through some quick steps here to uh, show you a bit more about the interface. First, uh, you've got this little toolbar, and it'll be on your right-hand side of your screen. Uh, this little red arrow will either expand uh, this control box or it will minimize the control box. So if we open that up for just a second, we've got this microphone button. Right now, you're, you're being muted by the organizer. 
so the organizer can't hear you. Uh, but if the organizer was to unmute you, this would happen. You'll get a, an audio indication uh, telling you that you've been unmuted, and you can see that the microphone is registering sound. If you don't want to be unmuted, then you can mute yourself. You can turn your own microphone off. This button, the circle with the square inside, that's the go to full screen button. Now you can see that the viewer window is over here on the left. This is where the video and uh, the video stream from the organizer is going to be presented. So you'll see slides or possibly uh, webcam video, whatever the organizer has planned will appear here. So if you want to make that bigger, you just click this circle with the square and now it's full screen. Click it again and you exit full screen. And now say you have a question, you want to get the organizer's attention in some way, you, you click this button to raise your hand. Now if your question is addressed or you change your mind, you don't want to ask it, you can then lower your hand. Also, if you have a, a short question that you want to ask, you can expand the window like I just did and type it into this box. Question. Then you type in whatever your question is. Then hit send. Now that question will go to the organizer and uh, they will be able to answer it. Now you may want to also raise your hand to draw attention to the question or maybe not. We'll kind of have to see how that stuff pans out once we get going. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple interface. And there's there's not much to it, but I did want to go over a few things to make sure that there's no questions or no uh, hang-ups for when, when we get started in these classes. At the end of the broadcast, the organizer is going to end it, and this is what will happen. The organizer has ended the session, and this call will be disconnected. Goodbye. So it will tell you that the call is, is over, the uh, webinar is over and then you'll be able to close out of these programs. So that's pretty much it. That'll give you a quick primer on the RTS classroom and um, how, how the classroom software is going to work, how we're going to organize some of our events. So check the RTS calendar. Uh, the link will be in the description box and that'll have you, um, that'll give you all up-to-date classes and times. Also after the event is over, uh, we will be recording video of, of each webinar, and those will be available for download. So say you can't make it to a live showtime, you'll be able to download uh, the recording and watch it at your convenience. And then also, on March 26th, 2014, we're going to start a 10-lesson series on how to program training. This is going to go into a lot of depth on how how you program training, how you evaluate training programs, how can you tell um, which training programs are worth your time and which ones are not. Um, and then also if you're a coach, if you're writing your own training programs, something like that, uh, it's also going to be very beneficial for those people as well. It's going to, it seems like there's a lot of information out there that is either about how to program training, uh, but it's so abstract that it's not really usable, or it's just a, a given training program. There's not much that tells you in tangible terms and actionable terms, how do you go about developing a training plan. So that's what this first 10 lesson series is really about. It's about how to develop your own training program. So make sure to check this out if you can. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You're gonna learn a ton of stuff and uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope to see you guys in RTS Classroom.